Okay, guys, this is an unscheduled live stream. It's windy. It's just nasty out today. So, as you see in the thumbnail, a CME. Now, I have had a lot of emails come my way. A lot of people are asking me what's going on with the sun because we do, do videos on chronomass ejection, solar flares, EMPs, and got a lot of people contacting me this is it you need to be checking this channel out here you need to be checking out this channel here it's a one-two punch we're going down all this stuff I want to calm everybody down Gene W good to see you fiddlesticks how's it going I want to calm everybody down with this okay now I've been studying CME solar flare since 2012 ever since the whole 12 12 12 Aztec good old days back when prepping was really heavy I'm gonna I'm gonna say it this way the science that is out there right now shows that this has come in our way can cause geomagnetic storms okay geomagnetic storms that are not quarantine event levels all right now there's some people that might get upset with that that's fine I'm not here to get people riled up and fear pornish and scare the crap out of people. I'm not saying everybody's doing that intentionally. There's a lot of people who just don't understand the science behind this. No, I am not an astrophysicist. I am not a scientist. I just do my research and look at things. Now, with the corona hole that's going to be facing the Earth, it will sound. Uh, I do apologize for the sound because I am outdoors and it is very windy out here. Let me double check my sound here. Guys, do y'all have a... Uh, do y'all have sound? Give me a one if y'all have sound. I can't tell. Um, let's get my phone. Get out of here, cat. I don't like cats. Anyway. If you like cats, it's good for you. I just don't. I'm a dog person. So this Corona hole, guys. It will be facing Earth directing. All right. Now there will be play on the Earth's magnetic field. All right, the magnetosphere. It will be affecting that. Now with the CME following up behind, yes, it will press on Earth's magnetic field. It is weak. Our magnetic sphere is weak. We know that. I've done videos on that. But the intensity levels of this, it's not even going to be as strong as the Toronto, Canada event that happened that small CME solar storm that knocked out their power for about eight hours it's not even gonna be that strong now will we see auroras lower than usual yes that's because the so the magnetosphere is moving a lot because that corona hole is affecting it but it's not gonna be this one two punch and this is it I don't I don't see the science there so I'm not on here to lambast anybody that's not what I'm here to do. Um, I appreciate comments and emails from people all the time, guys. I really do. But when I'm saying it's not what is being spilled out on the Internet, it's not what's being spilled on the Internet. There's a lot of YouTubers running with this is it. This is the end. CME's popping off. It's a one-two hit. It's not, guys. All right. So if you're preppers, hopefully you've already took our suggestions and our builds on do-it-yourself Faraday cages things like that you start to have your equipment in these things that you want to survive a EMP and a CME so you're you're good in that department um, and again guys this is not an attack on anybody uh, Wonder American BP Earthwatch calls it a good learning experience BP Earthwatch is a good channel I haven't got to see him today uh, I was doing analytics and stuff and changing thumbnails around in my last video it uh oh well I gotta work on my speech patterns or something like that I don't know but anyway let me see here and get in the chat right fast guys so I'm just on my cell phone so uh wonder America Vicky Savage good to see you Mary Lee Lockwood how are you doing Kelly how's it going I did see Southern Boy Prepper. How's it going, brother? If I find out how good the grid is, you'll find out how good the grid is. 
Uh, free press 666. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we're not, it, the intensity is not even supposed to be as bad as it was with the Toronto event where their power got knocked out. So I'm not putting much stock into it. Uh, I appreciate where everyone's contacting me on this. I watch the solar weather every day when I get up. That way I know what we're facing as far as the earth from the sun because we're big on grid down situations. I get recommended a lot of channels. I want to say this. Some of these channels I'm getting recommended, if you watch their videos, every solar flare is the big one coming from the sun on their channel. Every video. So, taking that information, I'm sorry if my camera keeps going dark. It's just not very good lighting right here. I got the sun glaring on me. So every single one is a, oh my God, it's going to happen. They're not, they're not looking at the science of the sun at all. They're looking at the spiral imagery, and they see a solar flare. They see, they see the funnel coming at us. That's always coming at us. Okay, Just because they see that does not mean it's the earth-destroying CME as far as the grid. One of the things I will tell you, we have a satellite that stays in orbit, but it stays in position all the time between the Earth and the Sun. Now, this is a failsafe that NASA and the government has been working for. When that goes out, then you know the intensity is so strong that it's going to affect the country, it's going to affect the world. That is their failsafe. That's fine. So, this whole thing, guys, no. Even if doomed. <laughs> uh, see here. Greg has been the leadership of those who are trying to harden our grid. And he's not talking through his hat. Greg Allison, who is a rocket scientist, among other things, has just posted a video on this on both his sites. I like uh, Green Greg. I haven't seen the video yet. But with the um, corona hole that's going to be facing here, they, there, there's a, they believe that ham radios and things like that might have distortions. We get that with a lot of corona hole that aim directly to Earth. So, in my theory, this is nothing new. Okay. The big one, no media channel would tell us, considering the channels. Be ready. Um, falling after Jesus Christ. I completely agree with you. No, I don't think the media would ever give us that information. That's why I look for the satellite feeds from the satellites that are watching the sun. And that way I can make a decision off of that. Now, I don't have the computer softwares and stuff like that NASA and these other space programs have as far as in checking the intensity of stuff. Because I don't have that equipment. None of us do. All we can do is read the reports that come out when they are made available. But that particular fail-safe satellite, if that goes down, then we know it's a big one. If it doesn't, we're good. All right. The satellites that are in orbit around the Earth, they're not hardened against that. They will go down, too. So you got, you got a couple warning systems that are out there. But I'm not seeing what's being spilled out right now about it. it's the end of, end of the grid and everything because of this. I really ain't. But anyway, guys, this was just going to be a quick stream. I just wanted to get that information out there because, like I said, I'm receiving a lot of emails on this, and I'm seeing a lot of channels running with this. Just be prepared, okay? As long as you're prepared, you don't have to be fearful in anything. You're just ready for it, okay? Would it suck? Well, yeah, of course it would suck. But I'm not seeing the evidence as far as it's being what's being spilled out by YouTubers. It's just not there. So anyway, guys, definitely appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, what did y'all think about the Cascadia video that I did yesterday? Well, released yesterday. I was kind of curious. We got some good feedback on it. Um, I'm not really sure. We'll be here in a year, no worry. Oh, yeah, well, people, yeah, as long as you're prepared, especially with a CME or something like that, 
um, yeah, as long as you're prepared, you should definitely be thriving after such an event. Um, it's just the ones that are not prepared. They're the ones that's going to have a hard time. But that's why we got the YouTube videos, right? To get people ready. Thanks for not acting like the other channels. Uh, like I said, guys, I'm, I'm not attacking any channel at all. It's just I've been watching this stuff for a while. And it's, the evidence just isn't there. I, I was on a live stream last night, just sitting in the chat. And I just saw constantly people in the chat, why aren't you talking about the CME? It's a double hit CME. I, I didn't even respond in the chat. I was just listening to the person that was on the live stream. I'm like, why, why is everybody so worried about this? I mean, don't get me wrong. You should always look at any threat. We're preppers. We should always look at a threat. But make sure you look at all the information as possible. Um, if you're worried about CMEs, study up on them. There's a lot of great information on them. Study up on how to watch the video feed that's released from Stereo A and B. You, you, you can visually see these things. You can start studying up on this stuff. And that definitely takes a lot of your fear out because you have access to be able to understand things. Now, I will say this. If for some reason the feed from Stereo and the other satellites get cut off, and civilians no longer have access to be able to pull up information. We might have something going on there. Those are things I'll be looking for. Because I don't believe they're going to let that information be out there for warning people. Because of panic. So, those are the things I'll be looking for as far as censorship on that. Gene W, when is this expected to happen? It's supposed to happen tonight as the first hit. And I believe also tomorrow... Uh, from what I understand and from what I can see with the storm, it's going to be a class M at the hardest. And it's, it's, I mean, it's just barely getting into a class M sta status, but it's still under what happened in Toronto. So I've seen comments, well, it's going to be a class X. I have not seen the evidence of that at all. Um, even, even a, uh, a class M I haven't seen evidence of a hard class M if this out there I would like to see it but I haven't I've spent the last two days looking at this stuff um, like I said I, I check the space weather daily so yeah I'm, I'm not seeing it guys drama is not good practice Carol Brooks on Cascadia, Cascadia video all right well that's good uh, I was wondering how how everyone liked it or not. Let's see here. Scrolling through, scrolling through. A G3. Uh, we're supposed to be at a solar storm in northern Idaho. Don't understand the lines, but with G3, I'm in the middle of G3 and G5. If we lose power, it'll be more of the same. Been out two times a day already. Yeah, so I'm pretty much only expecting this storm to actually cause interference with radios, ham radios, maybe internet issues as far as wireless internet, stuff like that. And that just goes in with your normal geomagnetic storms, disturbing what we're using as far as frequency-wise that way. But I'm not, see I'm not seeing anything strong enough to knock out the grid. And I'm a prepper, and that's what one of our main preps are, is coronal mass ejections and EMPs, because that's what I really think is the major threat. But I'm not seeing it in this storm. So, anyway, guys, just wanted to cover that with y'all. I uh, definitely appreciate y'all being here with me. Again, do your own research. Um, even do your own research on what I just said here. There's a lot of information with sensationalism. And a lot of it's just because they don't know. So just take a look at it. All right, take a look at it for yourself. Take time, study up on it. There's a lot of great space weather channels that teach people how to read space weather, especially with the sun. Start start checking those guys out. They'll explain a lot more to you, and you won't get all wrapped up with, oh no, it's going to happen. 
yes, it will happen eventually. I'm just not seeing it happening today. So anyway, guys, y'all take care. Speak to y'all later.